A new type of video and this one, well this footage is from a few weeks back where I played squad leader in a competitive event called Greyhound Night. And as you guessed it, it's organized by the 116 Greyhounds. Now in this video I will show you some gameplay footage, give you tips and tricks, thoughts behind some decisions, why I made those decisions as a squad leader. And also to show you what is it like to play Hell Let Loose on a competitive level. Because Hell Let Loose on a competitive level is a completely different beast compared to playing on a public server. The skill level of some players, the communication, it's basically one and a half hours of full blown action. And it's nothing short but amazing to play Hell Let Loose competitive. For the Greyhound Knight, full squads from different communities or teams can sign up with a full squad and practice against different team squads that are playing Hell Let Loose competitive. Now, this isn't a full blown competitive experience, but it does come really close. The assigned commander for this game was Known Connection, and if you haven't heard of him, go check him out on Twitch, he streams a lot of competitive games. Anyways, before the event started, he prepared a quick brief with a strategy sketch with what the battle plan will be for this game. It isn't in depth as an official comp game, but you get the idea. Now, my squad was assigned to play defense flank, which basically means hold the flank. And we weren't assigned to a specific plank, just grab a flank and defend where needed. Usually in a full competitive game you have three squads assigned, one in or, in or around the hard cap and one on each flank. For this one we had one defense center squad and one defense flank squad. The map was St. Mary Glees and the first thing to check for is what is the midpoint. In this case it was hospice and our second point behind it was cemetery. Which was a bit unfortunate since it's bloody miles away from hospice, while the enemy team had route de Ras just behind hospice. It gave them a slight advantage in terms of pushing back into the point and getting quick reinforcements in there. Since they can hold the four squares around the point with their defensive squads, whilst attacking squads can just put pressure on the four squares around the middle point. It also makes it a bit easier with garrison setups for them. Now, around hospice there are a few key areas to hold, you got the road above hospice with the field and the urban sector below the point. On the German side there's also a three story house that is really important and where they can set up shop. So in this case, before we started the game, I told my squad to hold the sector south of the point and if someone in my squad could get a satchel straight away on the three story house inside the hard cap. Okay, let's see if we can push them out on the move mark. on the three-story house and hospice, watch it. How long till we get a flare-up? Because it's not going to be a while. We're working on the There's infantry uh, down to the south of uh, the J infantry. Mark. I don't know why they're so far south. There's a freebie uh, truck on the... Uh, like Copy. We're going to flank coming up. Straight down the line. Okay, seems relatively clear uh, on the move mark. Let's see if we can push up and control this area.
At this stage, we lost the fight for the middle point and the two defensive squads were told to fall back. Since my squad is on the defense flank, I told my squad here to fall back to G4, G5, since they are most likely pushing from the church area or sectors F4 and F5. As a squad leader, you will always want to think ahead and identify areas where they are coming from. This way, you can get your squad in a good position before shit hits the fan. Hey, can you try and work on the uh, garrison in the E5? What? There's a supply yes, yes, already there. Yes, yes. One more. Ready up on the house on the infantry mark. And to the northwest of it on the run mapping. See if we can push out the infantry mark. Uh, enemy supply track on Jake. Guy on the roof here, just hopped off on the west side. Marty will observe. Enemy garrison on Jack Garrison Mark. One on the opposite side of the wall of me. Careful Guys, we need a Gary on north on G3. Let me supply drop on the phone. Yeah, I'm dead. I mean, my crew is gone. What's the status on the PZ4? He's still alive. We got an enemy OP on uh, attack move. Guys, let's not lose north, please. Oh, we got I'm coming up with a supply, sir. Because there's no Gary there. Infantry. MG on my body. Yeah, you got me. Just see if we can hold this forward defensive line. That would be gr uh, that would be great. Uh, UTF. The yeah. I got snapped out the truck. Can you be able to go? Fast forward a bit, we managed to work our way back into hospice and it was time to set a new defensive flank around the point. In this case we grabbed the old sector, the housing bit to the south of the point, since this is a key area to hold. Also the attacking squads were pushing through the sectors north and west of the point. The idea here is to push them out of the houses, hold the houses, so they have to cross the open field to get even close to the point or do a white flank. I did make a small mistake, or something I should be aware of, and that's placing the OP roughly 10 meters away from walls, hedges, or whatever. If you don't do that, it can get taken out easily by an enemy player just passing by. You'll see what I mean once the clip rolls out. Okay, we're uh, holding the flank here. Let's uh, see if we can keep the area on the attack move. There's a guy on the roof of the buildings just to the east of your attack move marker. To the east, copy. Don't see him. Hey, may not be supplied. Yeah, I'll have to go. If you want to build one, uh, uh, yeah, just, just, just stop and supply that RT. That's the last yeah, one. Can you put Ho uh, on the Parisian mark? One guy on the roof. D, 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 rest of him. Can we get an accurate ping on that? You want supply, sir? Yeah, we of you. Uh, I need tank shell. Attack okay. Baker. Got him. Fuck me, he was in front of me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Careful, his infantry behind me. Sure. I think there's still one upstairs on my observe marker in this. Ah! Yep, got him. Copy. Uh, enemies are in, in hospice now on House e is clear. Okay, 
uh, push up a bit so we can push them out of the houses, get a forward line. Uh, I'm gonna defense. wait, Cheek, for you to make a guard. Uh, defenders, I think Commander needs maybe four guys to defend the back. Hadlock, can you take care of that? Han, yeah. Yeah, G3, G4. Okay, someone else is falling back to G3, G4. Uh, tank on C4. I keep seeing the Admiral drop. I'll, uh, I'll update you. Okay, Lord, carry hot. One squad on North, help with the tank. We need one squad new, uh, on G3. Okay. Uh, one, one of the four WTH squads needs Tank to be on G3. Squad. Tank from the kilos. Can someone else pick that up? We're holding uh, E4 and have four. Hadlock, Hadlock, can you push back? At this stage of the game, we managed to clear out the flank, and another one squad needed help point. preventing them doing a wide flank. So we had to head out to E5, which is again full of houses, and that makes it a good area to push in from for the enemy. In this case, they already pushed up further than I expected. They also had completely lost control of the south sectors, and there was a bit of a frustrating part for me in the game, because I got tapped left, right and center. Also a bit due to my own fault, since I didn't clear all my angles, and I played it too fast in this sector. You will want to clear every nook and cranny when fighting a sector like this. In the end, we managed to clear out the south sectors, but we overstretched it, which allowed them to get behind us and we had to backtrack to take down a garrison behind us. The smart. Command, we have lost the south. We at F5, complete. Yeah, we're helping you, uh, Pulmas. I think we're gonna wait one more. They have no completely lost this south area, so be on your toes. Wow, watch out. There's artists still coming yeah. down the area. Yeah, destroying enemy OP. Yeah. Destroy. Good yeah, job. Hold the shot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, OP destroyed. Your right body, behind. backyard, three guys. Copy? Yeah, yeah, right behind you. Uh, okay, clip. There's two Panthers. Roger. One on Easy, one on Niga. <laughs> guys, they're on G3. We're losing back. Going to update EOP behind them. Stay closer to the point, please, guys. Do you need me to reinforce? New P up. Uh, team limit three to Garrison. Make way. Okay, team squad's coming to uh, back to G3. Take, take it, you can go. They're a uh, top window barn on my ping. They got supplies here, so garrison close. Inside this building, on observe. Enemy is dropping supplies behind us on garrison mark. Drop the ammo boxes to get flares. Ports, please. No, 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 I'm not sure. Oh, Stag, can you start moving north and try and get some flares on that front line? Because I'm yeah, not yeah. yeah, okay, can do G5, G5 is cleared out. Another thing that I noticed when watching this back is that we should have been fighting in the four sectors around the point to have some defensive pressure in the soft cap. The current position we were in now didn't add anything to the game or to the defensive pressure. 
sites, keeping a few occupied in the outer sectors. If you want to know more about how capping points work or how the capping system works, I suggest you have a look at my squad leader tips and tricks guide. Eventually, we pushed all the way back to our original position and they managed to push us into hospice. We managed to defend it for a bit and after a hectic struggle in the back alleys, we eventually lost a point. Enemy area is coming down on hospice. How stay stay around the hospice area, because there's a uh, coming as well. Don't lose the point. Panther is pushing. 30 seconds for a new OP. Bro, the Haras carry destroyed. Those are all in and about on observe marker, so we need to rebuild the whole flank. Hard look, you copy. And I may already had this thought from hospice. He lost all north behind hospice. Job. Yeah, they just took your own. Copy, copy. Uh, can we get some more flares up, guys? Hard look and Jean. No, they need you on the hind. Where is it? Hard look and Jean, work behind hospice, please. The rest of you. Yeah. Uh, just Co hold it, copy. please. Copy. Keep hitting that mark, Jack. There's an outpost there. Yeah, I would have. Uh, where did you say you wanted the supplies? Uh, somewhere near cemetery. We need to get a garrison up. Find a good spot. Yeah, please help to get garrison up around cemetery. Yeah, we're working on it. Now we're slowly pushing in. Uh, no, no, so no, stop no. I'm, I'm ripping with my marker. Out to stop. Copy. Thanks. Uh, can we get some more flash up, guys? After a good scrap around cemetery yeah. and defending it and looking at the clock, we did one last balls to the walls push. But we had a good flank going, but a panther doing a Leroy Jenkins managed to completely kill our push on the flank. In the end, we lost this one with 2-3. to three. The squad did an amazing job defending, even with being pulled all over the map, all over the flank to clear our garrisons and so on. What do you guys want to do? Do you want to hold it? Or do you just want to go for it? Five minutes left. What, what do you mean hold it? Go this it. game... Yeah, like, are you happy with 3-2 or do you want to actually go what for it? What do you mean no, I'm man. happy with Balls to the walls. Okay. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Okay, Drop Hadlick, that air at. Can you hold it? Hadlick, hold it. The rest push. Yeah, we can hold it. Yeah. Drop that air at in the center. The garrisons, yeah? Right. New plan. Stay with gonna six minutes to left. Balls to the walls. Go to the hospice. Yeah, yeah, I'm ahead. Update the dog panther. Yeah, the whole enemy team is in the hospital. Fuck. Just change it if you want to attack. Smack it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Panther is Guys, really. There's a freebie, uh, that panther. If anyone can get AP on that. I'm gonna kiss you. Uh, is he on fire already? So this is a new type of video, let me know what you think, I try to make more of these or change the format a bit, but what I want to do is give you guys an idea and some insight in how to play Hell Let Loose Competitive and how it is completely different to normal games or public games. Anyways, leave a comment and thank you for watching.